Guys, I know I haven't uh, recorded much uh, on the trailer park down here, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little something. I I think it's very important to have, especially when you're working on septic systems and even at your own home or your trailer park or whatever, uh, whatever you got going on that has to do with uh, septics. And this will save you a lot of effort. And it's, it probably save you a little bit of money and time, you know, down the road. But I'm gonna kind of show you what we have here. This is our D-Box. I don't know if you guys remember when we done our septic installation. Uh, this is the D-Box that went to the second home right here. We are we're actually um, finished with both homes. But our pipe, if you remember, that went from our other D-Box come right under the house, right over to here. And it went into this D-Box right here, which ran out to the leach bed we had here, which is the installation you guys seen. I'm gonna take you guys over here and kind of explain what's going on. So right here's our septic system and our leach bed for this home, okay? Now, both of these leach beds are tied into this one system here. Okay, so we have a total of three D-boxes. D-box one runs directly off the tank and it sits about two feet in front of the tank. D-box one supplies effluent to D box two and to D box three, which is on the other side of this home. But what we're going to do today is we're going to dig out around these D boxes and place the, uh, the culverts in the ground and then cover them back up, put a, or put a lid on them. I'm sorry, not cover them back up. That way you'll be able to access them if you ever have any stoppages or anything like that. But right here's our culvert. We bought a 24-inch uh, di in diameter culvert, and right here it is. And this is what we're going to be cutting up. Now, this thing is 20 feet long. That's the size that it comes in. You can't get it shorter than 20 feet. And you can't get it longer, not in our area anyways. You all probably remember the electrical installation I did as well. I was going to show that, guy, that to you guys. It's just a little update and let you all know what it looks like after everything was completely installed. So this was our electric service connection installation that we done. And here's our other one. That's the one we did the video on was this home right here. But guys, as you can tell, I mean, personally, I think that it looks really good. Everything looks real neat out here and clean. We've done this all by ourselves, no licensed contractors or anything like that. A few tools that you're going to need is a sawzall, tape line, maybe a shovel. Well, actually, you're going to have to have a shovel if you already have a D-box and you need to dig it out like we've done right here. And possibly a rake to kind of get everything smoothed out around it. And, of course, your culvert that we bought. But let's go ahead and get to the installation. All right, guys. So the first thing you need to do, uh, I know all D-boxes are not the same. So what I've done is I measured the widest point of the D-box which right here is 22 inches from end to end. And that's how I got my size for my culvert. Now, our, our culvert is 27 inches on the outside of the diameter. So that's another thing too, is, is we're, you gotta make sure that you dig out enough space to where this is gonna fit down here. And you can get pretty close if you want to, if you have to, you can get pretty close. But it wouldn't hurt to just kind of roundhouse that off just to make sure that you got it all the way around it because this is going to make this uh, a lot easier to get to see this is usually buried under the ground now the next thing that you want to do is you want to measure and see how how big of a, of a pipe that you need and I'll tell you an easy way to do this you just lay something across your ground right here and you measure down We're looking at approximately one foot, okay? So that's what I'm gonna say it is, is one foot. So let's go cut that culvert real quick. So the first thing we wanna do is go one foot. And it looks like we're right in that area.
culvert right here. We're going to just place it right over top of this deep box. Oh, that's such a nice fit. But uh, now that we have this on here, all we're going to do now is backfill this area, get it back good, smooth, and level, plant some grass on it, and uh, we put a lid on it. So we're going to do all D boxes like this. That way we can get down inside these a little bit easier. But if you ever have any issues, uh, this is how you're going to be able to access. Now you'll take your lid off here, and then you'll just come down in here and you'll pull this out, and you'll have access to uh, the D box of your sewer system. This is a very great idea, guys. All right, guys. So uh, this is just uh, this is just uh, some extra wood that I had from a um, porch that I built, and I just slapped this on here. You can caulk in between these; that way you get no water down in it. But this is the setup that you're going to have right here, guys. This is a totally different culvert. This is actually to my water meters here, but this is the setup that I probably put on it as well. I just used a piece of two before. I measured it out for the inside diameter of the culvert, and then. I uh, made sure that this was going to overlap all of it, which I also stained all this. But I used these decking boards and then just screwed them onto it. And this just sets right down in there and stays in place. It's easy access. Like I said, this is my water meter setup. I go down there if I need in here and we're good to go. All right, guys, I know that video was a little bit longer than I expected, but uh, this is very important that if you ever have any situations where your uh, line gets stopped up or you start getting sewage water coming up in your yard, uh, this is usually your go-to spot, guys. This is usually what stops everything up. It's right here in the deep boxes. So um, I know this video should be helpful for some of you guys. But if it was helpful for you, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications because we will have more videos coming out uh, on this little project that we're doing on the property. Uh, until next time, see you then.